What's going on everybody? This is Cody and this is just a very short intro video to the series that I'm getting ready to shoot for you guys. This is going to be how to build a oversized ship roughly. It's approximately 650 meters or 2132 and some change foot in length and it's probably going to deviate just a little bit. So anyway, this particular episode is going to be how to lay down the keel and then make a completely unified gravity generation field which your typical gravity generator only covers about 300 meters square if my memory serves or at least 300 blocks or what what not anyway moving on we're going to go ahead and set the entire world up proper and obviously i'm just doing voiceover or else i would be one of the fastest speaking person in the entire planet anyway so what we're going to do is want to enable copy and paste because i'll be very handy later we're going to want to make sure the blocks are indestructible because there's going to be a lot of mergers so anyway first thing we're going to want to do when we get into the world is make sure we have nothing but the heavy armor blocks among other various stuff that we're going to need like solar panels, gravity generators, yada yada, etc, etc. But first we're going to want to put down our main landing gear because this is an empty world so there's nothing to actually bolt onto unless occasional asteroids occur. So we're going to go ahead and make this approximately, if memory serves, 260 blocks in length by 5 blocks wide and then we're going to put a plate bottom in the bottom and then we're going to put a blue line down the middle of the blocks in between the two extra spaces to indicate where the center of gravity is going to be just so you have a color representation. Now anything in the future that we're going to put in like repulsion fields, gravity drives, anything like that will have to fall within certain parameters of this line or else your entire ship will be wrecked and you are going to be kicking yourself. So anyway we're going to fast forward a little bit and have that entire thing being completed and we will do the exact same thing with the first line on the opposite side and then have what we have now. Now the red blocks are going to represent where we put our gravity generators and then we will dial them in in the next video when we have everything in place and some temporary source of power. So moving along we're going to go ahead and skip to what it should look like for you guys. Um, this will be at the point where you're going to want to start double checking your homework. You're going to want to have these spaced out properly. I will give you the appropriate dimensions in the next video. If not, I will put them in the description below. Now, if you follow the video, it will also uh, give you visual cues such as, I believe it's 10, 50, 110, 170, and eventually 230. So at this point, I spent the last five, six minutes of this particular piece here just making sure everything's in place because I didn't want to look like a complete moron when I was giving you guys advice. And even there I was making sure I double check my work and at this point this should be the final pass to do so. So the other things you're going to want to get ready to do, you're going to make sure that you have your spaces and those spaces actually will have a purpose at some point because this is not going to be the true bottom of the ship. There will be some parts of the ship that go just a little bit lower than the keel but those will mostly be for armor, storage, and auxiliary, and potential future updates from the game itself, like anything to replace the warp drives, or any various materials like that. Also, you can plumb weaponry to the bottom of your ship. Now we're going to go ahead and install the gravity drive, or not gravity drives, forgive me, your gravity generators, and we will make sure they're all in place and you're going to want to make sure that they're all clustered together and given proper names so you won't lose them because this ship will have a repulsion field generator across six places on the ship two per cell and then there's going to be three cells total generating approximately 50x gravity on either side i do not know what the final number is going to be there's going to be individual compartments on the ship so every cell that you will have will be about 60 meters wide perhaps but at any rate ladies and gentlemen this will conclude episode number one of the how to build a ship video series i don't know exactly what i'm going to call it just yet so anyway guys be sure to rate like favorite comment subscribe to the channel hit this uh, uh like as i just mentioned comment and tell me what you think if you don't like something just let me know and i'll do what i can to help you guys out if you have any questions so yes guys that's gonna do it for this video so as always i'm cody signing off you guys have a good one i'll see you in the next video